guys what's going on my 880 the fog lights came in for the um 2004 suburban so i'm going to be doing the unboxing uh i think this is innovative innovated i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not sure but these is some, uh, i've been dealing with this company for years i never have any problem man and if you do have a problem, it's a two-year warranty on these lights. But, you know, I think it's well made. They well made. And, um, good customer service, everything. I just, I just like these people. I know it's a lot of good companies that are like Zentech. I did them in the past. and they had no problem. But I just like these people, customer service and everything, man. The, the, the quality of their lights is just awesome. Um, I ordered the fog lights. Let's get into it. Let's open it up. I'll show you. Right. I like the, the box that are coming and everything. Everything's just well made. Come with the uh, installation manual, everything. I ordered the 5000K. Guys, if you're going to order these lights, like HID lights, do the 5000K or probably 6000K. Anything above that, like when it's snow or raining, you're going to have a hard time see, seeing. Trust me, I, I did a bunch of these lights. And the higher the higher up is just like basically getting to color, like like deep purple, deep blue. Like I seen some people with deep blue lights, and you barely can see with those things. So try to get between 5,000K and 6,000K. You know, those would be the max. I wouldn't go no, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go above 6,000K. They're just my preference, but. And let me show you what I got right here. I'm gonna show you before I see it. Look, I got the uh, I got the slim design. See that? Normally I get the uh, like when I get the the 55 watt ones, I get the bigger above. I like I like the I wanted to get the slim design because if I'm I'm tucking them down there by the uh, the fog lights, I don't want no big bulky box down there that's hard that's hard to hide. And it also come with the the mountain software and, you know sometimes I'm not gonna lie sometimes I mount them sometimes I don't it all depend on where the box is going because sometimes it be like a thick wire harness with uh, a thick wire harness with loom on it I just strap it to that with wire straps make sure it's nice and tight because in the past when I start these for people a lot of people just don't want to screwing stuff onto they car making holes they just don't they just don't want to some people picky like that but this is mine so it can go either way I, I might mount it or strap it but it will be done you know professional it won't just be all laying in there you know and and this is my advice too get if i was you guys i get the 35 the 35 watt instead of the 55 watt the 55 watt is brighter yes it's definitely brighter but it, it heat up more it heat up your um it heat up the uh what you call it it heat up the inside of the housing the uh the headlight housing and it, it, it make it fall quick moisture build up in there and plus when stuff get stuff get um hot when stuff get hot you know it draw more energy and it just uh the life expectancy is not it's not high on there on the on the 55 watt these ones these right here the 35 watt last way longer than those 55 watts again in my opinion but it makes sense though something hotter getting hotter burning more energy more watts is going it's going to lessen the life of it you know these right here run a lot cooler so that being said though it still could do what you want if you want something brighter yes but my opinion the 35 watts it's more than enough bright. I've been doing these for years and I had no problem with it and light up dark roads. And the reason why I put these in all my vehicles is because I, I drive down a lot of dark roads. Hard to see. These roads don't have street lights. It don't have reflectors on the road. You know, and all you're depending on is it, the light, you know. So, that being said, that's it. That's these, uh, my fall lights that I'm going to get to. And I'm going to show you guys how to install them on the Ofo Suburban. So, yeah. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, um, you found this video educational or you learned something from it, just hit.
hit that subscribe button, like, share this video, you know, and um, I catch you guys on the next video, man. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'm out. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect.